Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today I wanted to show you the unboxing experience of the Lenovo Chromebook Duet and I will talk later about the accessories that you can use with this device. But before we get started, please do subscribe using this right button icon that I have. So just click on it and click subscribe. That will help me to continue making these videos. So let's just get it started. First, let's see the box. It's a nice packing actually. And you can see I have here the 128 gigabyte variant of this tablet. Let's take that off, put it aside. First, you will see the tablet itself. I already used this for now, for months. So I just wanted to show you the experience that this unboxing experience. It's a really nice finish. It looks really fierce premium. This part is metallic, this part is plastic. And you can see the color also is also really nice, I would say. On the top, you have the speakers and the microphones. On the side, you have the volume buttons and the turn on and turn off button. Here you have the USB-C charger with the indicator for the battery. So when you're charging, it will be blue. When it's low in the battery, it will be orange. And when it's completely finished with charging, it will, then you have green color here. It's a small light here. I don't know if you can see it. In the bottom, you have the connectors for the keyboard. And in the other side, you have nothing actually. So you only have just one USB-C port. And the one issue that I realized during the time I was using, I don't know if you can hear it. I hope you get it. It makes noise when you are trying to, to like bend it in your hand slightly. I don't know. I think it came with time that I used it. In the beginning, I don't think I had this. But yeah, it's kind of sometimes annoying. It shows that the build quality could get better. I have also on the screen the pro screen protector here. So I don't wonder if this button, like there are some bubbles here, which could, couldn't, which it came also with the time actually. In the beginning, I didn't have this bubble, but there's a screen protector on it. So let's put the tablet aside, see what else is in the box. You get two parts here. On the bottom, you have the like the manual for it, but here you will get the keyboard itself and the case for the bag. Uh, they're good they are for the price. They are, I will say, uh, the, yeah, in the budget price, yeah, you cannot get something better, I will say. Lenovo did a good job actually for the whole package that you get for the price. But you can see here with the usage of this, uh, the fabric is like getting worse and worse. So somebody need a scissor to just cut them. So the quality of also this fabric, I don't know how long it will last if I use it for two, three years. This is just in two, three months. You can see what happened. Also has this Kikistan, which is also firm. Actually, I didn't have any problem with that. That's also a good build, I would say. Next, we have the keyboard. Yeah, it's not that cheap, I will say. It doesn't feel that cheap. It has the connectors here. The travel keys are also okay, but this is small kind of, so if you want to type too much, uh, you will get, you, you cannot type too much, I will say. It's for a small, like if you take some small notes, yeah, you can do that. But if you really want to make no like uh, writing or make documents with this, uh, it's a good, buy a Bluetooth keyboard and connect it and type it with that. And you have a small trackpad here. You can hear also hear the clickiness of this trackpad here. It's also a small surface, feels like a glass. In general, it's a good keyboard for the price. So what else comes in the box? Here, you will see here, what I have here inside the box, you get the cable. 
is the USB-A to USB-C port. So we can connect it to the charger using the USB-A port one. Also, it comes with the charger that supports it. I think this is a 10 watt charger, so you can connect it and connect it to the adapter. But I would prefer, I would recommend that you use a better charger because the tablet itself supports like fast charging and this is slow because it's 10 watt as I know. So I'm using myself, the charger for Pixel 4 is 18 watt and it's much faster than this one. So that was the unboxing part. So now we can move to the accessories. So now let's continue with the accessories. Here, I will start first the ones that comes in the box, then I will continue with the other accessories that you can buy and purchase it and use it with this tablet. The case is simple, it's straightforward. You attach magnets, it attaches it automatically. I never had a problem with that. And the stand also works also properly. So you, I had no complaint with the case, just the fabric is a little bit poor quality. And the keyboard then, you can attach it also, it's simple, it works also quite good, it has a strong magnet. So then you can use it as a kind of using with the keyboard and the trackpad, so you can make your work easier with the work documents. So these are the accessories that comes with the box. But we, I will show you, and also in the box we had also, I forgot to show you. In the box also you get this dongle that I left in the, from the unboxing part. And it's a USB-C part and you can add, connect uh, your headphones to it. So it's a headphone adapter. It's also practical, I use it sometimes. It's good that it comes with the box. Now let's talk about the accessories that you can use with this device. I have a wide range of accessories here. I will start one by one explaining and showing them how it works. The pen is a straightforward. I have also other videos. The pen, if you purchase it, I have it from the Novo. It's a USI pen. That's the only one that the tablet supports. It has no buttons. It doesn't come also with the removable tips. So it's, you have only just one tip and it works with the battery. So after some time, you can open it from here and you can see you can replace the battery inside. So that I show you in the other videos how it works. I will not do that in this video, but I will show you how the tablet itself works using different accessories. First, I have this ports, like this uh, extension of the ports using this anchor adapter. It's a USB-C, so I will connect it there and we will see how it's working. Now I connected it. I have here the small micro SD card. The SD card, it has a micro SD card inside. So this anchor extension has the slot for it. I'll just connect it. And you will see that immediately you get the notification for that, that this is connected. And you can see that's the SD card here. So that you can see it works properly. Now I will, I have this Western Digital, this old one that I had for backing up my data. And I will try that to see if this old device also works here. So let me connect it. It's the USB-A port. I just connected it. Let's see how it will work. First, yeah, it takes time. The hard drive starts to working. You will also hear the noise maybe. But you can see my will also showed up here. So you have the folders also here. So you can use with also your old external hard drives. And one more thing that I want to show is the mouse support here. So I will take this off. The mouse, you can use the Bluetooth mouses, but if you have a mouse that it has this like adapter here for the USB-A, you can also plug it in here. And when you plug it in, it will automatically go to the Chrome mode. This will come out of the tablet mode. So you can use it as a more like desktop with the closing and minimizing, as you can see it here. 
And what else I had? There are so many sort of Bluetooth options that you can use. That's clear. I will also try to charge this device using the power adapter that I have here. Let's see if it will work with the power adapter. Now I am connected the power adapter down and you can see immediately that it is started to charge it. Yeah. Yeah, it's charging right now. So the last thing that I wanted to show is how the controller works here. So I have a controller that doesn't have a Bluetooth support. That's what I wanted to show. So if you have this kind of old controllers that I have, you can also use it. I will use this small connector I have, which I usually do. If I need to just connect a single USB-A port to this tablet, so I have the USB-A, goes inside, then I have the adapter. I will connect the adapter now. I have this NVIDIA Shield controller. It's the first version, doesn't have a Bluetooth support. It was working with the wireless, like uh, to, uh, to connect it with uh, my old tablet that I had from NVIDIA. Now you can see this also has a Bluetooth support, so it can like a trackpad here, so you can also use a trackpad. I will try to showcase a small game here. I have this tennis game here, like from virtual tennis. I will also just show fast how the controller works here. You can see I'm like using the controller and it works frankly without no delay. I will just shortly try to run, play some game here. Now you can see that it works quite good because this kind of game you need to have like a late, like no latency in the controller, otherwise you will have a problem. So that was also the controller. Now I will quit the game because I don't want to also bore you guys with it. I hope you like this video. I show the unboxing, I show some accessories that you can use, even if you have the old accessories, they work proper good. It's Chrome OS supports everything and the tablet also supports it. And I will do in the next video the full review of this tablet, the performance, the battery life and everything. So please subscribe so that you can uh, also uh, watch these videos later and uh, yeah, stay tuned.